Welcome back. Ever lost a precious item in the post? Ever been burgled or had your car stolen with stuff in it? Ever had goods stopped at customs? Ever wondered what happens to any of that stuff if it is with the police, post or customs and you fail to claim it? Hannah's tracked down where it all ends up. There's bargains and the odd lemon up for grabs. 20 bucks. 20 for the beer. 20 to be 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 20 to There'll be some bargains here. Chainsaws, <laughs> electronics, farm mm. machinery, mm. bikes, jewellery, a very wide range. Anything from a ride-on mobility way, scooter bucks. to a sit-on toilet seat. Yeah, all of it up for grabs. 10. 20 bucks. 20 to be said to be 20 or 20 or 20 to be said to be 20 dollars for an hour. 20 to be said to be 20 for an hour. 20 I've got. Usually works out. You spend a lot, but yeah, it's good. good. Get home, it's like Christmas, you know, sort of thing. You get some good stuff, you know, you can go through the boxes and you get a surprise every now and then and yeah, a bit of a booby prize every now and then as well. So great bargains here. Oh yeah, you know, it is, it's good. It's fun. It's, you know, a lot of people come here, it's a hobby and enjoy themselves. It's just a good day out and yeah, a bit of shopping and who doesn't like shopping? Next to the program, Iron Horse USA AV20 bike there, as you can see. These on-site auctions are also held in Wellington and Christchurch about three times a year. But the bulk of stuff from Police Post and Customs is sold online. They're getting cheap now. General goods, which is all of this, we're probably talking under 10% through an auction. Mm -hmm. And obviously the, the other 90% is done through our online channels. Every week, Turner's website auctions goods from Post, Police and Customs under General Goods. Ready, boys? Or you can use the Turner's site to link to the same auctions on Trade Me. Arriving now, packages from New Zealand Post. Stuff that's got lost or damaged in the mail is undeliverable. A brand new child's car seat and, there's always one, a mystery object. Each item is measured, photographed every which way and entered into Turner's auction catalogue. And, as with the on-site auction, there's a huge variety. Electronics, toys, books, clothing, artworks and, of course, the mystery orange object, who's clearly had a very big day. There we go. Much better. And the good news is my fluffy friend here won't be up for auction for another couple of weeks. Meanwhile, back at the on-site auction, who's buying? So you guys dealers? No, no, we're just for fun. We're for fun and we buy for different people and help different people too. We enjoy it. Dave and Emma bagged a swag of top label jackets for 80 bucks and a new sofa. Maximum, I want to pay $200, but we got a bargain today. Was that the $20 sofa? $20. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <Oliver. laughs> yeah, come here quite often. Every time there's a police auction, get some good stuff, you know. Darren and Donald got clothing and health supplements. Sort of anything that takes your eye, I think, really, you know. Did you spend more or less than you wanted to today? Um, probably more than one or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I will spend more yet, so, uh, yeah. 365, Amazon... Brad Kindle. Gardner's been doing this for seven years. Says these police and post auctions are a real lottery. 80 in the middle, anyone else? 80, but 80, but 80. Would people get a bargain here? Yeah, they could get a bargain, definitely. Might have a $10,000 watch. Potentially, it could be sold for 2000 Potentially, it could be sold for 12000 <laughs> On the other hand, we might have a camera that might be $400. Could go for $50. Could go for 600 Good thing about on-site auctions, you can check stuff out the day before, like these bikes. If they've been stolen, they're likely to have been thrashed and crashed and then trashed. So you might buy three bikes for 20 bucks, but you'll only get one good bike out of them. Our Filipina uses these auctions to pick up bargains to give to various charities, but today... I spent more. <laughs> his brief was to buy one suitcase. How many suitcases did you buy to replace one? Four. <laughs> Yeah, so, but at least they're nice ones. 20 bucks. 20 I have. 30. I didn't actually buy anything at the auction, but I did come away with a couple of things. First, it's actually pretty hard to bid by mistake. Lot 347, Amazon Kindle. That's a bid. That's one. So is that. That's not. That is. That isn't. And that definitely is. I also heard some really good advice about auctions and any kind of bargain hunting from auctioneer John Stokes. 
I've got some neat things at home that my wife and my kids have come here and bought during an auction. I've also got a garage full of a lot of crap. That's a fact of life. So the best way, if you put that in your head, you won't be um, disappointed. Hey, that big teddy bear, how cool was that? <laughs> I had my eye on that, but... Where are you going to oh, put it? Oh, no, that's the last thing I <laughs> need in my house. <laughs> Next week, we'll be asking police, NZ Post and Customs what you can do to try and retrieve your stolen or lost stuff, and better still, how you can prevent your gear disappearing in the first place. Here's a peek at that story. We've got a wee quiz for you, starting at New Zealand Post's Mail Centre in South Auckland. First question, if all you've got to go on is... Just a person's name, their Christian name, and a town. How does New Zealand Post track that person down and deliver their mail? Amazing. Second question comes from New Zealand Customs. This is where they keep all the goods that have been held up at the border or are unclaimed. Some unusual stuff, umbrellas. Umbrellas, they've been taken because they are probably Disneyland logos on them or something, under the intellectual property rights. Question two is, what's this going through the x-ray machine? A weapon, a marital aid, a piece of plumbing? And on to question three. So if we just go down here, you'll see that we've got a... At nice County's Manukau Police seat. Station, they um, try to reunite people with their stolen goods so they don't end up at auction. You know, people every day lose very, very valuable um, you know, information, laptops, photos, stuff that's really, really important to them. So question number three is, does anyone know who the people in these stolen photos are? If you do, we'd love to hear from you. Finally, we're back to Turner's auctions for question four. Do you think these giant cardboard cutouts of various celebrities are being auctioned by New Zealand Post or New Zealand Police? Answer? These guys didn't get lost in the post. They haven't been nicked from anywhere. There's over 200 of them. And they're all up for grabs. Sorry, trick question. They're part of a big sale of props from a production company being sold online over the next few weeks. The rest of the answers and what to do about your lost and stolen stuff next week. So Hannah with more. And, and the, the big teddy, by the way, uh, still available on-site auction uh, <laughs> later this month. Pippa, don't promise me. I won't go. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. So cool, that was gonna, huge. Going to have to watch it.